Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name's Ruben, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is a Fairline Squadron 50. She's a 1997 model powered by a pair of shaft-driven Volvo Penta Tam D122 610 horsepower diesel engines. Pushing more into the realms of an offshore motor yacht rather than your typical standard flybridge cruiser, this special example pays tribute to the design and build quality world-renowned by British boat builders Fairline. A dominating looking vessel in all settings, she boasts three cabins, a crew cabin, generator, passerelle, satellite TV, climate controlled zones, but most importantly, she is a boat with the real wow factor. The doorway right next to the transom shower on the aft takes us into the cockpit. So the very spacious cockpit does benefit from having the protection from the elements thanks to the hard top flybridge overhang. All the perspex is in very good nick and you can see the canopies likewise. So it's sociable out here. You've got bench seating here for seven, eight people. Underneath that is actually a crew cabin. Now it's fitted out with two single berths, a heads, and also a sink. So a nice space to bring the kids in when they're misbehaving. You've got our two director's chairs on either side to add to the party. Then also we do have this teak table on top of the zebra. Now I forgot to feed them, so we've decided to use it as a rug. A lazarette lies underneath that there. And how unique is this? When was the last time that you saw a third, a tertiary driving position. So you've got your one up at the helm. There's also one upstairs on the flybridge, but then you do have your third position here and that is equipped with a bow thruster. Now that means that if you are berthing starboard too, like we are here, it makes life so, so, so much easier. In this side, we do have an ice maker. This boat is full med spec. And you'll probably first notice that when you come on board with the passerelle. So there are two straps underneath, wire straps. That means that you can put on a dinghy or a tender to them. There is also just there the brackets so you can sit it down. But if you want to transform this into one single piece, well, by opening the door, you can also press the button at the back here. And that means if the party does overspill from the interior to the exterior, guests can talk to each other in seamless harmony. Now, let us go up to the flybridge, stainless steel with teak ingrained steps and we feel like we're walking up to the pearly gates because we're in the heavens up here. I mean, look how high this driving position is. The flybridge is so far above the water, it gives you a superb all round 360 degree view of your surroundings. The radar arch contains your Intellian satellite TV dome. That is radar, horns, weather station, wind speed, and then your VHF aerials. So. You can see with the bolster at the back here, we've put that down to show you that you can use this as a single sun lounger. Pop it back up and you have navigator seating on the starboard side, double helm, and then you've got a single port side navigator seat as well. The hatch there means when your other half is making sandwiches and tea down the galley, you don't even need to come up the steps to give it to you. Open up the hatch, pop your hand out. There we are, job done. Now, if we sit behind the helm, the windshield splitter, does a good job of keeping the wind off your hair. You've got your Raymarine plotter there, bow thruster, electronic controls, everything that you need, your autopilot, your engine temperatures, tachometers, speedometers, everything's in front of you, and your handheld VHF. Now on a day like this, you do want to be up here. And as I said, you don't want to go down the stairs to get a drink or a bite to eat. So we do have a cooler locker here. There is a fan and a chiller, and then it's also drained, so you can pop ice in here, pop some beers in there, saves you from having to go up and down the steps and when you want to rinse your hands you've got your sink grab rails so if you are standing up underway well you've got something to hold on to this boat is a serious offshore motor yacht so it is designed to tackle the roughest of conditions but hopefully it is just sunshine and fiberglass when you're underway let's go downstairs and take a little look inside so the boat had a full extensive refit that saw it get re-carpeted and saw all of this get re-upholstered and full suede little under four years ago. Now you've got your overspill seating here and that is right next to the entertainment centre. What entertains you? Well, nothing like a good drink. You've got a huge cocktail cabinet there. You then got glasses storage here and then your weekend, your weekend fridge for all your debauchery. So that will do amply for drinks. Just above that, you've got the original stainless steel cutlery. Fairline embossed, look at that. And then you do have your free sat box. As I mentioned, the boat has satellite TV connectivity. So 
U shaped settee, the table will extend out. And what you can also do, if you want to turn this into another berth, you can take those units there, slide them across, and that forms this into a very large double. So theoretically, you can sleep 10. At the back here, we've got two brand new, they were only fitted about five months ago, twin Everspacker units. And then the boat also benefits from reverse cycle air conditioning. So in all climates, all temperatures, you can keep the guests nice and happy. Engines live underneath here. The boat is shaft drive. And you can see those hatches from inside. Just lets natural light pour into the cabin. It's nice. Now we have another fridge slash freezer compartment in here. These are all just storage. You've got your microwave oven here. Four electric burners. Why is it electric, you may ask? Well, there is a generator on board, so that is going to be your preferred method of cooking. I know a lot of people don't really like to mess with gas on boats. Hot and cold stainless steel sink. Now, these all have their covers. So, for example, what we'll do is we can pop the sink down, pull this up and across, and that just blanks over like so. In here, we've got the original Fairline China. How lucky are we to have that there? And let's go and peek at helm position number one of three. So the seats are so, so comfy. And from here, we've got a footrest. And what another fantastic view. Raymarine plotter. Stereo there. Handheld VHF. Auto helm, depth, bow thruster, remote controlled spotlight control. Another VHF down here. Then we are electronic controls on this. but it is very, very bright and eerie. Now, Fairline, as we do know, were one of the superior boat builders. Were, they still are one of the superior boat builders, but when you look at the joinery, everything like this has stood the test of time. The gloss is superb. And we come down the staircase, and we're in an atrium. An atrium on a boat. This really is more yacht than it is boat. I mean, we can go in to the starboard guest cabin. We've got hang and locker storage there. And we've got two twin beds. Plenty of space. This has its own separate air conditioning unit, so you can control this in exactly the temperature that you want. We've then got a television for it and an opening porthole. Now, I mentioned to you that the boat is med spec. We're you will sort of see that, first and foremost, is the fact that there is a BD, a BD. Next to that, we do have an electric quiet flush toilet. We've then got our shower space saver with this rotating unit that comes around to seal it off. No evidence of dampness in the mirrors at all. Sometimes they get frayed around the bottom, but you don't have that here. This is also the day heads, so you've got access out back into the atrium, just there. There is a waste tank for both the toilets on board. If you are out of sea, you can discharge it too. So if you come back into here, you can see the toilet is accessible by that door there. But we've also got a pretty identical port side cabin. The only minor difference being is you don't have access to the ensuite. That is the bulkhead where the forward master cabin um, ensuite is. So very similar setup, twin berths. And if I actually get in here, lie up against it it's bright it's spacious it's area do i feel claustrophobic absolutely not and just under this ledge there are not one but two portholes we've also got a socket if you want to charge your phone just all the mirrors the textiles the upholstery there's mirrors everywhere the color of the carpets it all makes it feel really bright and airy now normally what you'd find on a boat of this size today is that you'd have an aft master cabin that'd be full beam and it would take away one of these bedrooms but in this case, for example, we have a forward master cabin. So it's one step down, but when you come up here, you can see the volume of space is phenomenal. You've got almost full walk around access to the Queen Island berth, storage underneath there. And then again, just look at the joinery, the decorum. So you've got up against the headboard, these mirrors, pretty common throughout the boat. You'll now see we've got that separates and segments all the headlining. You've got these mirrored strips that run down and they just break it up but when you're here, it just reflects the light, makes it so much 
more open and spacious and ultra comfortable bed. You've got things like his and hers vanity lockers, not on just one side, but directly on the other as well. Like other cabins, we do have our own private television, flat screen with a self-loading DVD player on the side. Now that's all linked up to satellite TV up top. We've got a storage locker on either side of the bulkhead and then heating in here, as you would expect, and reverse cycle air conditioning. So let's take a look at the master ensuite. But just before we do actually, Think about how difficult that was to create. That's a single curved piece of wood, high gloss, and look at the thickness of it. Now, what you'll most notice when you come on board a sea line or a fair line is the joinery, the quality of the door handles, just the fixtures and fittings. They are built to withstand the test of time. A B-Day, again, on a boat, it's just such an alien thing to me. But it is so classy in here. You've got your high gloss finish, again, marble effect countertops. Look at the mirrors. Is there any staining on them? Is there any dampness? Or, or corrosion, no, absolutely not. Electric quiet flush toilet. The floors are still so shiny, and then you do have, again, another shower compartment. Same idea as the day heads. I'm sure you get the gist of it. But a superb boat for a family. For those of you who wanna bring guests on board, this really does have the wow factor is a phenomenal boat that is probably, as I've said, more yacht than boat actually. Offshore motor cruising, not a problem at all. Let's finally finish off by taking a look at the engines and also the crew cabin as well. So those are the four deck bathing cushions and underneath that is berth one of two. This is the second berth running along the way. Underneath here, actually neatly, we've got a pump flush sea toilet with a waste tank and then aptly behind me is the sink. Are you gonna use this as primary accommodation? Probably not, unless someone has to sleep in here. You're gonna use it for storage. Maybe the in-laws are coming. You don't wanna have them sleeping in the cabin with you. You don't trust them, that is fine. You can put them in there, it is comfortable, but most importantly, it does the job. Now, without further ado, engines. We've got a Volvo Penta pair of Tam D122s. So these are 610 horsepower each on shafts, look at all the space you've got in there to access the engines. This panel will also come up if you want to move the table so you can get in about that engine as well. But there is loads of space in there. Went through a big service only a few hours ago. And for a boat of this size, you really do need the grunt. What a phenomenal example. Let's finish up on the flybridge. Any place to be. It's April here, the spring has begun, summer's on its way. You can hear all around us on a Saturday night that people are starting to enjoy themselves. That is exactly what boating's all about. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins.